Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 21 of my FIFA 15 Derby County career on the Xbox One. We've started the Premier League season pretty well. Uh, still aiming for a top half finish at the very least. And our players, our new signings are starting to really shine for the club now. Sonogo is playing well. Um, Alex, last season's main striker by, I think that was our first um, transfer actually. Alex is a striker and now he is really coming on. In the Premier League, he's shining, he's getting some goals, and he's on the ball now for Derby. Plays it forward on the left side. Jordan Ibe with the cross, or oh, headed away the there, unlucky. Tried to find Sonogo in the area. Now Will Hughes for the Rams. Plays a 1 2, nicely played there with Sonogo, and near post finish. Will Hughes gives Derby County the lead. Seven and a half minutes gone, it's Derby 1, Crystal Palace 0, and a great start for the Rams. Good, play, good attacking play from Derby. Nice little one-two. And goalkeeper came out a little bit. He got the space in that near post. And that's his third Premier League goal of the season after Will Hughes. Another youngster who's really shining so far this season. So into the second half. It's still one goal to nil. Alex on the ball. Playing it forward. Will Hughes again. Got a chance to get his second. Cuts inside. Shoot. Shoots. Oh, he's at the base of the post. And it's come out. And Crystal Palace... Clear it for a Derby County throw-in. Unlucky there, Will Hughes. Should have made it two. But well, it couldn't be at the post. So into the final five minutes we go. Derby County still in the lead by a goal to nil. Crystal Palace in possession. Have we won the ball? We have indeed. No, he's giving it away to Kelly. Now Crystal Palace playing it forward. Long ball. Nice little touch. Palace. Oh, he's going to get a free kick, is he? No. Shot. Oh, top corner. Crystal Palace have equalised. 30 seconds remaining of the 90. And Balassi has equalised for the Eagles. Derby County 1, Crystal Palace 1. Great finish that one. Top corner. Goalkeeper couldn't do anything about it. It's his first Premier League goal of the season for Yannick Balassi. Uh, not a great time to concede there for Derby. Have we got enough time to find a winner? I don't think so, but we're going to have a go anyway. Alex on the ball for the Rams. Come on, Alex. No, he's just been barged off the ball by Shamak, <laughs> embarrassingly enough. Now Campbell, Crystal Palace looking for a winner, which nobody's going to get. So the score ends all square, one apiece. Pretty disappointing to concede late on, but we didn't lose. So it's not the end of the world. And next up, we've got Crystal Palace in the Premier League. We're away from home this time. Going to play in our away blue strip. Uh, Loftus Road, QPR versus Derby County. Let's hope that we can get the three points this time and not draw. So it's the Rams to kick this one off. Will Hughes looking for two goals in two games. Yaya Sonogo looking for more goals overall. Will Hughes pushing forward, holding on to the ball well. Finds Bryson who plays it through and an early goal for Derby. It's Alex who puts him in front. Three and a half minutes gone. It's QPR nil. Derby County won. Great start again for Derby. Can we hold on and not concede now? That was a great volley actually. Nice plays volley for his second goal of the season. Crystal pa uh, Sorry, not Crystal Palace. They were in the last game. QPR in possession now. Looking for a, an equaliser. Eight, nine minutes gone. Play forward. Good passing play this from QPR. And Charlie Austin plays it forward. And again, there is the equaliser. Ten and a half minutes played. It's now QPR 1, Derby 1. And who was it who got that equaliser? It was Charlie Austin who set that one up. He will get the assist. And it's Michu, number 24, the QPR striker. Former Swansea player. Has equalised for QPR. So one apiece. And we've got... Just over 10 minutes remaining. QPR are in possession yet again. Looking to go in front in this game. Sandro. Third back to Sandro who shoots low. And goalkeeper got down fast enough. Jack Bullen keeps it out. And keeps the scores at one apiece. And now Alex. Nice little back heel there. Fires Will Hughes. A chance here for Derby. Bryson's played in. Serge Nabry shoots. Oh, challenge. I thought for a second he might have gone down, but it was a good challenge in the end. So into the second half we'll go. We've got 25 minutes remaining. Less than 25 minutes remaining. 
And QPR are on the attack again on his right side. Played forward. Sandro gets the cross in. Far post. Headed away. And now Derby going to look to counter attack. Yaya Torre plays the ball nicely through. Is he onside? It's Alex on the ball. A chance to make it two. He does it. We're in front. 20 minutes to go. It's QPR 1. Derby counted 2. Good counter attack there from the Rams. Yoyo Sonogo setting up Alex who gets his third. Is that his third goal of the season? I think it is. Second of the game. Nice little finish at the near post. Yeah, third goal of the season for Alex. Let's hope his, his scoring form continues. Less than 10 minutes remaining. Still leading by two goals to one. And that's going to go out for a Derby County throw. Which Cyrus Chris is going to take. Throws it backwards towards Barker. Who gives it away. Poor ball there from Sean Barker. Come on, get him. No. Oh, just wide of the post. Phillips. So into the final minute we'll go. Still leading. Holding on. We want the three points. Jordan I for Derby. Just trying to waste some time on that left wing. Well played. Nicely played from Jordan Ive. Gets the cross in. Headed away. And there goes the final whistle. We get the three points. 2-1 winners. Alex with both goals for Derby. And for good three points in the bag that was. And next up. We're going to make a few changes. We're going to put Jamie Ward in for Nabry. Thorn in as well for Bryson. And I'm going to give a couple of these players a rest. We've got some youngsters. I don't know where to use some of these youngsters. Most of them are listed for loan. I think all of them are actually. And there's a couple there which are brought in on free transfers as well. Just for backup. Left back and right back. And do I put any of these youngsters in? I might put McDonald in. But look at McDonald's pace. He is fast as fuck. Put him on the bench for now. I might put him up front. Who else have we got? Uh, Samosa. Reinstra. He's a good young right winger. I might put Reinster in on that right side instead of Jamie Ward. I believe it's a cup game next door. That's why I'm making all these changes. I'm going to put McDonald up front as well for Yoyo Sunogo. Give Sunogo a little bit of a rest. Um, any, any of these youngsters that I can put in? I don't want to use Colin Salmon. It's just a waste. I may as well develop my youngsters whilst I can. Because I'm hoping to get rid of Colin Salmon in the January transfer window. Which is not too far away. Get a million or something for him. So we've got Alex and McDonald playing up front against Liverpool. It is 22nd of September 2015. Capital One Cup tie away from home. Can McDonald, the youngster, do the job up front and get a goal or two? It's going to be tough, but I have faith. We've got Rainstrom or whatever his name is on that right side as well. He's another youngster. So it's going to be the Reds of Liverpool to kick this one off. They've got a fairly decent team. I see they've got Barini up front. He's always going to be dangerous. They want to see if they've got playing Lucas. They've got Sacco in defence. And Danny Sturridge is up front as well, partnering Barini. So 15 minutes in, we're still holding our own. It's still Liverpool nil, Derby County nil. Liverpool are in possession in midfield now with Lalana. Good play there from Will Hughes. Alex gets the ball. And now it's found Will Hughes again. A chance here for Derby to go in front. Will Hughes, no, good challenge in the end. He couldn't get his shot off fast enough. And the goalkeeper holds on to it then. Scores remain 0-0. 20 minutes played. And Derby once again on the attack. Rainstrin out. The youngster looking to get this cross in. He does get the cross in. Unlucky there. And headed away. Still in Derby County possession though. Forsyth cuts it infield. Will Hughes plays it back on the wing. Jordan Ive now for the Rams. Looking to get this cross in. Anybody in there? There's McDonald. Oh, is it the crossbar? Oh, Alex, you should have done better from there. Well, lucky from McDonald. It was a great header. He hit the crossbar, and Alex had an empty goal to head into, and he hit the. He went over. So poor there from Alex, but that's great play from McDonald. The youngsters having a great game here at Anfield. He cuts inside, sets up Alex. Oh, fantastic save from Jones. Stops Derby County from going ahead there. But that should be 1-0 to Derby. Great foot with that flailing foot, uh, left boot. So corner to the Rams. Almost an hour gone. Comes in near post and headed away. Only as far as Hughes. And a deflection again blocks it. And that's going to go out for another Derby County corner. 
Some pressure applied here from the Rams. Liverpool doing well though, defending well. And that one is headed away again. But only to Forsyth. Passes it in field to Hughes. Who's at the post this time? Unlucky yet again. And now Balotelli plays it forward to Daniel Sturridge. A chance here for Liverpool to counter-attack. Daniel Sturridge again. Balotelli, Balotelli picks up the loose ball. Plays it over the top. Oliver Red's going to get this cross in. The cross does come in. And the header. Oh, that was at the post. How many times are we going to hit the post? So three minutes remaining. It's still Liverpool nil. Derby counter nil. We had a bit of um, pressure applied to both teams. And it's calmed down a little bit since then. And then we go the final minute. It will go to extra time if it remains 0-0 after 90 minutes. And a chance here for Derby to go in front. It's McDonald using his pace to keep away from this defender. Oh, surely he's been taken down. And he's won the penalty for Derby County. And he's been booked for that as well. Coates, number 27. Look at him pulling the defender. Pulling his shirt back. And a chance here for Derby to win it in the very last minute. It's going to be Alex Enter step up. A chance to pull us through to the next round. Surely should do it. Come on, Alex. Don't miss from here, lad. A chance in front of the cop for Alex to put Derby County through to the next round. No, I don't think I don't I don't know whether to give it to uh, for, no, not Forsyth. What's his name? McDonald. I was gonna give it to Doc McDonald because he won it, but I'm gonna change to Will Hughes. So Will Hughes steps up. Oh no, the goalkeeper saved it and it goes out for a throw in. A chance there for Derby County to win it. And we fluffed it. Great save again from the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's been man of the match, I've got to say. He's pulled off some cracking saves. And that is going to go out for another corner to Derby County. This is probably going to be the last chance to win it in the 90th minute. Corner comes in towards McDonald or whoever that was. And the final whistle blows. So, 90 minutes gone. We're going to go into extra time. We're going to make a change or two. Sonogo is going to come on for Alex. Rainstra is going off for Jamie Ward on that right side. He's played well, but he's a bit tired now. And Jordan Ibe has been replaced by Johnny Russell on the left wing. The Liverpool get us underway yet again. It's Daniel Sturridge playing it on the right. Liverpool, are they going to look for an early goal in this extra time period? He gets that cross in. No, it's going to go out for a Derby, Derby County goal kick. So, 105 minutes played. End of the first half in extra time. Sonogo plays it forward. Finds Johnny Russell, who's got a bit of pace about him. He's got fresher legs than most players. And Sonogo finds some space. And again, the goalkeeper keeps it out. And we've won another penalty. I didn't see that challenge. I was following the ball. But Sonogo's been taken out. I think it was Lucas who took him out. So the Liverpool captain gives away the penalty yet again. And another chance for Derby County to win it here. Is Sonogo taking this one? End of the first half in extra time. Derby County have a chance from the penalty spot for the second time in this game. And Sonogo shoots and scores in under the post. In under the crossbar, I should say. And Derby County now have the lead. 1-0. From the penalty spot and let's just hold on for the second half of extra time and we will be through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Goalkeeper didn't even move for that one. It's his first goal in the Capital One Cup then for Yoyo Sonogo. And some late pressure added by Liverpool. They're looking for this equaliser. Adam Lallana. Alberto Moreno. Lallana with a shot. Good save from the keeper. Get it away. Come on. Just thump it upfield. Johnny Russell. That's it. Well played Johnny Russell. Clears it. Back into the Liverpool half. Unlucky there. Sonogo almost won the ball. Would have been one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. And he is offside there, I believe. He is indeed. Liverpool midfielder offside. Well, there's four of them offside. Five. Might be five offside. <laughs> Crazy. So into the last minute of the 120 minutes played. And there is the final whistle. Derby County win 1-0. And we're through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!